you know, they keep talking about me and all the, and say a bunch of negative things about me, talking about my dad and his wife, and, you know, they've been unemployed and out of work longer than I have, you know, they, and I've been on a, you know, looking after my mom since 2010, and, you know, and, and, and she's been out of work since, uh, his wife Donna, she's been out of work since 2005, um, and, you know, um, my dad's been out of, uh, out of work since he retired from the Army, which was back in the early 90s. So both of them have been, you know, um, uh, out of work longer than I have. And all I've been doing is looking after my mom, you know. Um, you know, and yeah, it's true, I don't get paid to do it, but, and that sucks. But, you know, all I'm saying is, you know, about that, you know, apartment that my mom and, I mean, uh, that my brother... Uh, and me had my autistic brother. Um, I wasn't looking after my mom at that time. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, that sucked. Um, you know, living like that, you know, and uh, after that I ended up going to Virginia for a little bit, you know, and I stayed up there in, in 2005 to uh, <laughs> January 2007. And then after that I, um, went to, uh, came back to Texas. I was in Copper's Cove and I, and I worked at McDonald's and then I got another job at uh, Wendy's. And then um, after that, I uh, left again. I went to Charleston in 2010 and that's when I started looking after my mom. And, um, and it just evolved into what it is now, you know, this situation with my mom and me, you know. And I'm, you know, yeah, I'm concerned about my brother who's autistic because every year that goes by, you know, he's been there since 2005. He doesn't have no one come in there to see him and, um, you know, uh, visit with him, you know, for a long period of time, you know, except for me whenever I come there. And I was like, you know, look, when I got the money, I come there and see him, you know, and they, uh, for some reason, and several times I've been there, uh, they will not let me sign him out to come stay with my mom and me uh, because... My dad doesn't like me, and so this is why. But he would let my brother go stay with my sister or my other brother, who um, both had said that they would not do it. They don't want to take on that responsibility of, you know, looking after my brother, you know. So, um, but I would, you know, because I'm just in that position where I could, I could do that, you know, um, for him, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, so, um, but, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, um, so... Um, I wish there was a way that I could, you know, go down there and get him, you know, um, but, uh, right now I, I just, I can't, you know, I wish they would bring him out here to me, but that's not going to happen. Or maybe he could transfer to, uh, some place out, some assisted living home out here in Texas and I could go, you know, wherever he is and get him out and him come stay with me and my mom, you know, and that would be, you know, cool thing, you know, but, um, you know, for whatever reason, they don't want to let me um, look after him for, you know, like I said, probably because my dad doesn't like me. He wants to be an asshole.